You're watching Arise News Hour. Now, a major new exhibition called West Africa Word, Symbol, Song is currently being held at the British Library here in London. It's showcasing a thousand years of West African history, drawing on over 200 manuscripts, books, sound, and film recordings, as well as artwork, masks, and textiles from the British Library's vast African collections and beyond. Well, to tell us more, we're joined by lead curator of African collections at the British Library, Dr. Marion Wall. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Um, how coherent and persuasive will this exhibition be, or is it? Because, I mean, one could be forgiven for thinking that African history and literature has been communicated orally for centuries, but that point, the point of your exhibi exhibition is to say that, no, that is in fact not the case. No, that's not quite the point of our exhibition. The point of our exhibition is to uh, showcase a thousand years of African, West African intellectual traditions and mm. we're doing that through music, through literature and through art. So on the one hand, yes, we're looking at oral literatures. We start, for example, with the great epic of Sunjata from the Mali Empire, mm. which goes right back to the 13th century. And we look at how complex those traditions are and how much uh, they've changed, but also stayed the same over history. But at the same time, we're talking about traditions of writing and of communicating messaging through graphic symbols as mm. well in West Africa. And these go back a very long way too. Um, West African manuscript traditions went right across the region. A lot of people will have heard about the manuscripts of Timbuktu. Mm, yes, but, absolutely. Exactly. But there were libraries from Mauritania to Nigeria and Cameroon, and there still are. And those go back a long time, at least 800 years. And of course the voices of protest coming through loud and clear. I just saw some pictures of Fela Kuti there, Nigeria's Fela Kuti. Um, and, and, you know, the, what sort of inspiration are today's people able to draw from that? Hugely. It's very interesting you ask that because when we were doing consultation for this exhibition and we did a lot of consultation uh, with people in Nigeria and also lots of people of West, with West African links in the UK and what everybody said, we've got to have Fela Kuti in the exhibition. So that's what we did. And um, I think people draw huge inspiration from somebody who was such a big star and mm. was able to uh, put his case so well and protest so uh, cogently against what was then the military government in Nigeria. Yes, I could also see Chinua Achebe there, who's another literary, if you like, protester, but also you've got Wale Shoika and people like that. That's right. Uh, the, uh, towards the end of the exhibition, we bring it right up to date with this huge outpouring of literary talent um, around the time of independence, so 50s, 60s. Uh, Achebe really kicks things off with Things Fall Apart in 1958. But we take it right up to the present. Mm. So we look also, we have examples of uh, literary writing from West Africa today and different right. kinds of storytelling and we finish off, the last thing in the exhibition is a poem that Ben Okri released on Twitter. What about other parts of Africa? Because I mean all these are Nigerians. Uh, yes, but we cover 17 countries in the exhibition and we obviously we can't aim to do that uh, in any kind of comprehensive way, but we do have content from or relating to all those different countries. Uh, so, you know, Ghana, Mali, Senegal, Guinea, for example, mm. we've got we've got lots of material for those, uh, from those, and something for everyone. So, what are we looking at now on the screen? Uh, we're looking at a Quran that was scribed in 1733 in England by a man called Ayuba Suleiman Diallo. Right. Uh, he was enslaved on the coast of Senegal, but he was a high-status Muslim scholar and he managed to argue, essentially, for his own freedom. He came to England, uh, wrote three copies of the Quran. Right. Uh, we're borrowing that one. We're also showing some letters by him that are in our collection. So a wide cross-section of, of Africa, really, exactly, is on display exactly, there. Yes. I just want to say thank you very much indeed. What can we, or how long is this going to be on for? Till the 16th of February. Okay. Thank you very much indeed for coming in, um, Dr. Marion Wallace there. Thank you.